So I see from your personal statement that you undertook some voluntary work in a nursing home um, and you mentioned here that you met some residents who were suffering from dementia. What do you understand by the term dementia? So dementia is a disease that primarily affects older individuals and with our ageing population in the UK, more and more people are being diagnosed with dementia. Dementia itself is a syndrome rather than a single disease and I think it incorporates a distinct triad of symptoms. So the first being cognitive dysfunction, so things such as memory loss. Then there's uh, behavioural changes such as increased aggression. And finally, there's difficulties with activities of daily living, so things such as driving and shopping. There are many causes of dementia, the most common one being Alzheimer's disease. And with Alzheimer's, the pathology behind it is that it's down to degenerative changes in the cerebral cortex in the brain. So the cortex atrophies, neurofibrillary tangles form inside the neurons and amyloid plaques form around the neurons. And people most at risk of developing Alzheimer's are those that have Down syndrome because these individuals naturally develop the amyloid plaques that are associated with Alzheimer's, although not all of them go on to develop Alzheimer's. The diagnosis of Alzheimer's needs to be confirmed with specialist imaging of the brain, but GPs can consider whether dementia is likely or unlikely using various cognitive assessments, so things like questionnaires, and one that I saw being used was called GPCOG. The management of dementia is primarily in the form of carers and occupational therapists who can develop and tailor specialist coping strategies to help the patient. Unfortunately, there are no pharmacological cures for dementia, although some patients are prescribed um, acetylcholinesterase inhibitors such as rivastigmine, and I think this has been shown to show some, dec some improvement in their, um, not improvement I should say, some uh, reduction in their decline in cognition. The prognosis for dementia unfortunately is poor and most patients do die within five years of first showing symptoms. So if you've mentioned any illnesses or disease in your personal statement, make sure you know about them. There are also a few common conditions such as diabetes and heart disease that your interviewer may just throw at you, so try and learn these as well. These are all covered in our Easy Medical Interviews two-day course. Use the Easy Medical Interviews structure for a common medical conditions question. So this includes eight different points. Epidemiology, clinical symptoms, cause, pathology, risk factors, diagnosis, management, and finish off with prognosis. This will give you a clear, well-structured and formulated answer.